Hey, what's up my fellow pavement pounders and trailblazers? My name is Matt and today we are talking about how to run on every single surface. So whether you're used to pounding the pavement or hitting the trails, changing the surface can be very beneficial for your overall running. So before we turn you from a mediocre runner to world class, I thought we'd start this video with a little joke that'll surely get your feet moving in the right direction. Why doesn't a skeleton ever go for a jog? Because they don't have the guts. All right, congratulations to those two people still here after I made the joke. You guys truly deserve to elevate your running game. So let's go. The first service on our books is Urban Running. Navigating the city streets has its own set of challenges and opportunities and for me this has been the most common type of running I have been doing for the past few years. I've lived in the city so it was closest to me and this is where I did most of my runs. So whether you are dodging pedestrians, cars or running up steep hills or bridges, urban running demands agility and versatility. Of course the crowdedness of the city is the big downside but if you know the the city well then you will know a fantastic stretch of concrete that will just keep going where there is no one in sight and that would be the ideal place to run those intervals. Often you will also find more well-lit surfaces that will help you with your morning or nighttime running. Plus you are most likely to have the shoes for pavement running in your closet already. Remember to just stay aware of your surroundings because the city can get very busy. Next we are venturing into the forest with some forest trail running. The serenity of the woods can offer a welcome change from that busy busy city life. But when tackling those uneven terrains it is very important that you keep your focus and stability. You should always keep your eyes on the path ahead and don't be afraid to dodge a few puddles here and there. And for me, the biggest plus of running in a forest would be oh, that crisp, crisp nature you don't get in the city. The surroundings of the forest are perfect for that long, easy run. You can just keep going and you'll never get tired of the views you have during your run. You may sometimes need to check out other footwear than the ones you have, but often you can just make do with what you have in your closet already. And last but not least, we are conquering those mountain trail runs. For me personally, the views I love the most, but the hardest to get to since I live in the city and we don't have any mountains close by. Scaling rugged terrain often gives you a thrilling test of your endurance with breathtaking views. And as you ascend to those new heights, try and focus on your footing and keeping a steady pace. The breathtaking views at the summit are definitely worth every step. The mountains are perfect to add some flexibility to your running game. You can choose whether it goes up and down, how steep and how rugged it is, so you have to make do with what you get. But this may give you an extra advantage in your next race because during your race you also have to be flexible and adaptable because races never go perfectly as planned. Plus some mountain running can really strengthen up those legs and we need strength in the legs when we are running. So if you have the option choose a good mountain trail road and you won't be disappointed. Some good running shoes adjusted to the running surface is essential for your mountain running so make sure you have something you can use that is suitable for the job at hand. Well there you have it folks, running on different terrains can add some variability and excitement to your running. Whether you are hitting the pavement in the city, exploring into the woods or crushing those mountain trails every single surface has its specifics, challenges and upsides. So remember to listen to your body, stay hydrated and choose the correct footwear for whatever adventure you are choosing. With practice and perseverance you can become a master of all landscapes. Thank you for joining again today. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I will hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye!